today's top story, Australia offers Indonesia $1 billion to aid COVID-19 recovery. Hello, good morning and welcome to Fox Breaking News with me, Ferdi Arianto. In a few minutes, I will bring you the latest news around the globe. And here is the COVID news. Australia has agreed to lend up $1 billion to Indonesia to aid the country's COVID-19 recovery. The latest in a line of measure designed to bolster Canberra relationship with the Southeast Asian and Pacific neighbors. Australia has agreed to lend $1.5 billion to Indonesia to support an international COVID-19 response program. The loan to be paid back over the next 15 years will be used to support Indonesia's budget financing for 2020. According to a report in Australian newspaper, the loan is extended as a goodwill gesture that will help foresaw Australia's financial crisis in Southeast Asia's largest economy. The standby loan, which is expected to be officially announced in the coming weeks, could be drawn as needed by the government, which is currently withering a severe outbreak of COVID-19. Besides, the Central Statistics Agency stated that Indonesia's economy contracted at 3.5% annual pace in July to September. The second consecutive quarterly contraction after 5.3% contraction in April to June. The recent government has marked more than $19 billion for COVID-19 recovery, but sluggish disbursement and continuing spot fire outbreaks of the disease, especially in Java, that have hindered the country's recovery. Australia Department of Foreign Affairs and Threat said the two nations were working closely together to deepen the country's COVID-19 response and recovery effort. Furthermore, Indonesia will also have access to potential COVID-19 vaccine under Australia $500 million commitment to the Global COVAX Facility Scheme, which aims to ensure rapid and fair global access to COVID-19 vaccine. As the virus continues its deadly spread, Jokowi government has also sought to secure access to potential COVID-19 vaccine for first machine firms in China and the United Kingdom. Well, this is the end for breaking news today. I'm Ferdi Arianto. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.